The storm has now arrived. Hello guys, this is Stormboy13. Um, well, I know it's a few months away, but for those who are living in the US or in various parts of the world, brace yourself for this year's hurricane season. There's a not a guarantee, but a likelihood that it could be a another stronger than average hurricane season. Yep, why? You'll find out in a minute. Um, so, as we know, a couple of things we know definitely about this year's hurricane season. Typically, we know it starts from June 1st to November 30th, 2018. We know that. Um, so, let's go for a recap from last year's hurricane season, 2017. As we know, ahead of during the season, several natural meteorological services and scientific uh, agencies forecast how many named storms, hurricanes in major, category 3 or higher on the Safari Simpson scale, so hurricanes will form during the season and of how many tropical cyclones will affect a particular country. So these agencies include Tropical Storm Risk, TSR, Consortium of the University College London, the Natural Oceanic and Administration, NOAA, and Colorado State University, CSU. The forecasts include weekly and monthly changes in significant factors that help determine the number of tropical storms, hurricanes, and major hurricanes. With a particular year, some of these forecasts also take into consideration uh, what happened in previous seasons and an ongoing La Nina fan that recently formed in November 2017. So on average, Atlantic hurricane season between 1981 and 2010 had contained 12 tropical storms, this is just average, 6 hurricanes, and 3 major ones, with an accumulated cyclone energy ACE index of between 66 and 103 units. So the first forecast of the year was released by TLSA uh, on December 7th, 2017. We'll get to the last year's one in a sec, guys, so don't worry. Uh, but this year's hurricane season, captions will be up on there, uh, has predicted, uh, once again, a slightly above average season this year, with a total of 15 named storms, seven hurricanes and three major hurricanes um so uh the following list of names were used for name storms that formed in the north atlantic in 2018 retired names of any will be announced by the world meteorological organization in the spring of 2019 so the names not retired from this list will be used again in the 2024 season so this is the same list used in the 2012 season with the exception of the name sarah which replaced sandy so Let's go through all the names, potentially, that may occur throughout all of the 2018 uh, season period. Alberto. Beryl. Chris. Debbie. Iransto. Sorry if I pronounced it wrong. Florence. Gordon. Helen. Isaac. Joyce. Kirk. Leslie, Michael, Nadine, Oscar, Patty, Raphael, Sarah, Tony, Valerine, and last but not least, William. So this is a table of all the storms that have formed in the 2018 Atlantic hurricane season. It includes the duration names, landfalls, denoted in parentheses, damages, and death totals. So deaths in parodies are additional and indirect. An example of an indirect death would be a traffic accident, but they are still related to that storm. Uh, damage and deaths include totals while the storm was like a tropical, a wave, or a low, and all the damage uh, figures are in 2017. So, for 2017 hurricane season, it's been a very, pretty much well above average. There was a total of 17 named storms, 10 of them were hurricanes, and 6 were major hurricanes with only one, trop one or two tropical storms. So, we'll go through a final recap of what this year's hurricane season is likely to prevail. So, 2018 will be another busy hurricane season, UK-based experts predict. So, the Atlantic hurricane season, this was back in December, by the way, this was said. But anyway, the Atlantic hurricane season officially ended 
two months ago, um, but already the predictions for next season are definitely starting to emerge. And like dark clouds on the distant horizon, they are not reassuring. So the 2018 season will be another above average one, according to a forecast issued uh, by Tropical Storm Risk, a consume of experts in tropical forecasting, insurance and risk management. So, as we said, I'll repeat again, this, this, uh, this year's season could see about 15 tropical storms, 7 hurricanes, and 3 major hurricanes, tropical storm risk predicted. So the numbers are just slightly down compared to... Um, last year but it could be more it could be less this is just a prediction uh, it's scientists who include meteorologists climatologists and statisticians are based at university college in london and although the prediction echoes the similar sentiment for some u.s forecasters namely that 2018 will be a busier than normal season the prognosis also comes with some caveats so the two experts who authored the forecast, Professor Mark Saunders and Dr. Adam Lee of University College London's Department of Space and Climate Physics, stated the uncertainties associated with this outlook are large and the forecast skill of this extended range is historically low. So the forecast calls for slightly above norm activity. So the main pred predictor, it said, was the anticipation that the July to September trade wind speed will be slightly weaker than normal and thus having an enhancing effect on the Atlantic hurricane activity of this year. Warm ocean temperatures and low wind shear, the opposing winds have prevent hurricane formation, so expect it again in 2018. Other weather watchers also expect above average activity, even if it's not as busy, as I just pointed out, as the catastrophic 2017 season. So Jeff Masters, director of meteorology at the popular Weather Underground website, told the Sun Sentinel so in late November last year, so 2017 hurricane season was winding down that he expects another busier than normal one next year. But like tropical storm risk, he acknowledged things could change. So my hunch is that we will still see another active season in 2018, though we have little skill making such forecasts so far in advance. Master said, my forecast is based on the idea that El Nino conditions will not be present next fall, as is often the case when we see a developing El Nino event the preceding winter. So, Dan Klosowski, senior monologist and hoking expert at Yaku Weber, expressed a similar settlement in a certain central interview so at the close of the 2017 season. So, the conditions for tropical development won't be quite as ideal as last year, but however, with the warm temperatures across the Atlantic Basin, we have to show there will be a better chance we'll see an above average number of storms across the Atlantic for this year. So there we go. Hear me out guys. There's likely uh, a scenario that it will be another above average hurricane season. For those who are living in southern US, maybe part of the Caribbean or uh, the Barbuda Islands for example, uh, just brace yourselves. I mean, just because you had an extreme season last year doesn't mean that you'll be guaranteed to be safe this year. So storms can happen there anywhere. They can form anywhere. Uh, in certain areas and uh, your land could potentially get hit so please um, take this video quite seriously um, and just hope that hopefully we'll get widespread attention so that's all I got to point out to you today guys above average seasons likely I'll film up the updates another time but so uh, yes guys if you want me to do any more weather events as always just comment below um, so yeah so this is it for now uh, give a thank you for watching this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, I'll catch you up to you soon, guys. The storm is now out.